So in this uh, recording, I am going to talk about uh, uh, Vertex CI's uh, multi-model embeddings. Now, uh, multi-model, a lot of uh, people get confused with multi-model, uh, think it is multi-model, but multi-model is where the same uh, model can process text, image, or video, right? So that's what multi-model means, right? The different modality of the model, uh, different formats of uh, inputs that it can process, and those are video, text, or image, right? So the multi-model embeddings model generates 1408 dimension vectors. This is by, by default. You, there are, um, so um, you can actually create uh, lower dimension uh, vectors also with the multi-model embedding. Uh, that's why it said based on the input you provide, which can include a combination of image, text, and video data. The embedding vectors can then be used for subsequent tasks like image classification or video content moderation. The image embedding vector and text embedding vector are in the same semantic space with the same dimensionality. This is important and this is very useful. So what it is saying is like uh, when I uh, create a image embedding, I can also provide a contextual text along with that. So the contextual text and the image gets embedded together and projected in the same semantic space. So now what I can do, it's a, it's a very beautiful thing. Like, uh, now I can um, use these vectors interchangeably change, changeably to search. So I can, I can do uh, a search of the image by the text or search of the text by the image and we'll see a code how, how it, it works, right? Um, for text only embedding, uh, the recommendation is to use the vertex a text embedding, uh, but we'll be using the multi-model embedding, right? Uh, now, the use cases of multimodal embedding is image classification, image search, recommendations, right? And uh, this is the model. This is the model that we'll use. There are some best practices that you can uh, read here. Uh, API usage is given to, this is the, I'll put it in my recording. This is the uh, link to this, right? And, um, yeah, there is a uh, Python example as well here. And these are the different other dimension that you can use. So by default, it is 1408 dimension, but you can also create uh, 512, 256, or 120. Lower the dimension, better the latency, but your accuracy will uh, take a hit. Accuracy will go down if the dimensions are less. Okay. Now let's see how we can use it, um, use this concept of multi-model. Uh, embedding right so here what i try to do is i uh, let me go here right i have two images one is a kitchen image and the other image is a image of a sunset and i will try to search these images based on a text how did i do this right okay first of all uh, let me go through the code first of all i created a module to Calculate cosine similarity, right? This is a standalone function. Given two embeddings, it will calculate the distance between the embeddings or the cosine similarity of the embedding. And I'm assuming everybody knows what embedding is, right? Embedding is uh, the numerical representation of uh, the word vector or an image vector, right? Uh, word or images, right? It's a numerical representation. Uh, it's it's a, it's a vector of numbers, right? Now I also created a function. I named it get multi-model embeddings. And this is the function, uh, this is the um, function from the Vertex AI SDK. The model, so the instantiation of the model is here. If you see multi-model embedding model dot from pre-trained multi-model embedding, this is the model I'm using. Now, this is this is important to notice here. So model got embeddings. I'm giving the image path, right? So this is the image path. I'm also giving a contextual text. So basically I 
this contextual text, if you see later on, I'm describing the image. Now, when this embedding happens, this two gets embedded in the same dimension and gets projected in the same semantic space, right? And the default dimension is 1408. Even if I would have not given it, it will be 1408. So once I run it, I get the image embedding. Im embeddings dot image embedding gives me the image embedding. Embeddings dot text embedding gives me the text embedding. Right? I return it. Okay. Now I create it. Since I'm not using pine uh, pinecone or any other vector database, I'm creating a in memory vector index where given an image list, right? For each image in the image list, I am creating a vector. Uh, list of vec um, list of uh, dictionaries, right? The vectors is my list, and each um, record, like uh, dictionary, has an image embedding, has a text embedding, and the image name, right? Image embedding and text embedding. I get it from my get multimodal embedding. This this function, right? When I pass the image and the contextual text, it returns me the image embedding and the text embedding. With that, I create this dictionary. And this dictionary, I put it into the vectors list. So vectors is nothing but a list of this dictionary, right? And I return the vector. Now, I also created a search image with text function where I pass these vectors and the text with which I want to search. So here what I'm doing is, the first thing I'm doing is I'm creating embedding of the text, right? So using the same multi-model uh, model, uh, multi-model embedding model. I'm creating um, embedding of the text. And then this is a list of this dictionary, right? So for each vector in the vectors, I am taking the image embedding, right? And then I'm calculating a score between the image embedding and the text embedding text that I have given, right? And then I am um, appending the, or, or pushing the score in the vector and returning the vectors, right? Now we'll see how in the main program I'm running it. So this is my image list. First image is of a kitchen. This is the image path. This is the contextual text, image of a kitchen. Next to the name is sunset. This is the contextual text. It's beautiful sunset. And this is the image path. Now, vector is equal to create vector index. What it will do is it will return me the list uh, that, uh, that we have seen, right? Create vector index, if you see here, for each image, it will create the image embedding, text embedding, the contextual text embedding, and return me the list of vectors, right? Now, this is my search text. So when I So the first one I'll test it using image of a kitchen, right? When I say image of a kitchen, Right, and then search image with text. I pass this vector and this text, right? So this text embedding. So in, in here, it will first, in, in this function, we saw that this, it creates an embedding of this text and then it searches uh, or, or it compares this embedding with the image embedding here and then calculates a score between the two, right? That's what it is doing. So once I get the score, I sort the scores again with the score to see which image is coming at the top based on this text, right? So first run, let me run it with image of a kitchen, right? So image of a kitchen, we are expecting that it will be, the kitchen will come first, right? So see, kitchen has a 0 0.09 and sunset has 0 0.02, right? If I say image of sunset, Sunset will come first, right? So here, one thing to notice is if you see the the score is low, right? But it doesn't matter, right? It's a, a relative score that we need to uh, see, right? The score is low because um, so the in the uh, original image, the the there may be there will be a lot of uh, uh, features extracted from the original image. So that embed embedding is very rich with a lot of semantics, a lot of uh, features, right? But image of a sunset will not be extracting, uh, when I embed this, not to be extracting a lot of uh, features, right? So that, that that's why the similarity 
the absolute similarity with the image will be less but we need to look at the relative similarity the relative similarity is where it will say okay if i search for image of a sunset sunset come first if i search for an image of a kitchen the kitchen will come uh, first so that's what i wanted to show today that how the multi model uh, multi model embedding works uh, uh, in cp vertex ai thank you bye bye